Welcome back to Lane Switching. Today I'm here with my guest, none other than D Wop Dope Boy. Welcome to the web, my G. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me, for real. No worries, no worries. So let's start it off. Uh, just tell us a bit about life before music and uh, your upbringing. Yeah, so like, uh, I come from a pretty big family, family of nine, and I'm the oldest. Um, wait, what was the question? Just a little bit about your upbringing. Uh, so yeah, so basically, like I I came to Canada when I was really young with my with my parents and shit, and ever since I've just been learning, you know, just uh finding what I like to do, you know, for sure. So um, when and why did you start making music? I started making music in 2020 uh, because I, I felt like I needed a, a, a way to, I, 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 like I kind of wanted to find a way to, to express myself. Like an outlet. Yeah, an outlet to express myself, yeah. That's, that's, a, good, that's a good word for that. And... Um... Since you started in 2020, um, I guess, like, what is, what what do you think has changed in your music since you started back in 2020? I'm definitely more con uh, confident, you know, with, with my craft. I'm experimenting more now, you know, so, yeah. So how did you get the name D-Wop Doe Boy? Honestly... D-Wop, D-Wop was already like a name that I had a lot of, like a lot of people around me called me D-Wop. So, so like I, I put D-Wop with Doughboy because I, I just liked the way it sounded, honestly. That's I, fair. I, I, it kind of had the, the ring to it. And I also, I love money, you know, so it made sense. For sure. So, um, for nobody, if somebody who hasn't listened to you or, um, somebody who's a longtime fan, how would you describe your sound? Uh, my sound, honestly, I could just say me, honestly, that's all it, that's all it is. All, everything I like, I put into my music, you know? That's all I could say. And it's now. like authentically you, you know, where a lot of guys, uh, not just rap cap, but like a lot of guys will over-exaggerate stuff. Whereas like you, it's just purely authentic. For sure. So now you've been doing this for, I guess, more or less two years. What challenges in the industry and in your life have changed because since like becoming a rapper, having that title of a rapper? Honestly, it's kind of like the managing aspect of it because I have to I have to be my own my own promotion team. I have to do everything, you know. I have to I have to be my own team in a in a certain way. Even though I already have my like I already have like a like a separate team where like they actually help me with certain things. Shout out hip hop heads, you know. Sure, shout out hip hop heads. Shout out sleepy too. And so would you say one of the most important things in a independent artist is just that support system? Yeah, for sure. It's definitely motivation to keep going. <laughs> Knowing people want to actually see you win, you know? For sure. So I think there's always been this kind of, I don't really know how to say it, but it's just everyone kind of feels like every end of Ottawa has its own sound. Yeah. Do you agree with that? I definitely agree with that. I feel like the West, the West has its own, its own wave, and the East has its own wave. You know, like ev everywhere has has their own waves going on. You know. Shout out the city for real. For sure, everyone's doing their thing. For sure, and do you feel like? Um... I don't know. I think there's always been this thing and with you coming from out West, there's always been this thing about the West and that it's melodic and mm -hmm. that, that's the kind of the, the most prominent sound is just a melodic sound. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. Cause th this is where like, that's where like all the pain music is, is coming from, you know, like the West side, all the pain music. Cause yo, shit really gets serious out here, you know? 
for sure. And so how long have you been living in the West? I've been living in the West since like 2015, for real. What's different between the West End um, in comparison to uh, other neighborhoods you've grew grown up in? I feel like it's just like, it's it's definitely more interactive in my opinion, you know? I feel like it's more of a community, you know? With the people you go to school with, you know? There's a lot of support, you know? And I see it, you know, I'm not going to act like I don't see it, but yeah. And I feel like creatively, you've had a lot of support. You've surrounded yourself, I should say, with a lot of talented artists such as um, FTG Reggie and guys like G Faisal, you know, that you performed with at Cranium not too long ago. Um, how has been surrounding yourself with like people like that? How has that influenced you creatively with your music? Honestly, it just it all it always inspires me because I know I know everyone in the like mo most of the people in the city are striving for greatness, you know. And the people the people that I fuck with, I know they're striving for greatness, you know. And I like to see that, you know, all that. And do you think that motivates you being around people who are also in the mix of the music? Yeah, for sure. Um. Recently, you've been working on your own clothing line, uh, Doughboy Gear. Mm -hmm. Just tell us a little bit about that project and um, when can fans expect for you to uh, be releasing clothes and yeah, just talk a little bit about that project. So for, yeah, I'm, I'm basically starting my own clothing line, well, merch line. It's called Doughboy, Doughboy Gear. I'm, I'm planning on dropping it. I'm I'm planning on doing a campaign for it on my like for my music video my on my for my new single, nothing to some, so. Yeah, I'm gonna be rocking it in the video, so y'all gonna check it out. Y'all better check it out, man. For sure, for sure. Um, somebody who's also a friend of the show, uh, Loki Guap, you worked with before. You've released a track with him. Mm -hmm. um y'all don't have s the exact same sounds i guess you could say similar sounds but just as a duo like it, it, it's pretty obvious to the listener y'all got great great chemistry do you think we'll ever get a collab project in the future yeah for sure like me, me and him uh we were, we were thinking about dropping an ep for sure like definitely in the near future you know for sure and what do you think the theme of that project would be? I don't, I'm not really sure yet. I feel like it would just we just have to, you know, go and do do what we we do best, you know. Just straight bangers. For sure. So now, like, we're close to the end of 2022, and you know, 2023 is just around the corner. What can we expect from from you for the rest of this year and going into next year? bangers straight bangers and um visuals do you think you'll be dropping another visual before the end of the year hopefully i, I like i really want to but it's, it's uh, there's a lot of things you know i have to deal with first cuz i want like like every every aspect of like me like i want i want like everything to intertwine you know all the all the like every every venture that i that i put my mind to i want everything to intertwine so it's all one big you know it's just all an ecosystem of quality work for real yeah for sure so um if people want to find you find your music um where can they find you on social media uh, you can find me on Instagram at Dwop Doughboy, on YouTube Dwop Doughboy, and yeah, everything Dwop Doughboy on Spotify, uh, Apple Music, all that, all that good shit. For sure. So go stream Dwop Doughboy's music. Follow him on all social media platforms. That was the lane switching interview with my guy Dwop Doughboy. I'm DF2. That's Dwop Doughboy. You already Peace. know.